Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Yeah, so uh, one thing I feel like with the music shit is it's, it's extremely expensive. Like, as an artist, if you had to goddamn just throw like just a random number of how much you felt like you then invested into your career over the years. Damn, since when I first started? Yeah. From the studio time, yeah. from me, from the studio time, from me didn't know how to write, make my hooks, from me fucking up, going back, staying in that bitch till I get better, from me shooting the videos, from me buying the clothes for the videos. Damn, bro, this a mean question, bro. Yeah. Bro, I've been putting money in myself for a long time, but by myself, I can't even answer this shit. Yeah. Nah, that's real love. I can't. That's a good question, though. That make me want to go back and just think, like, how much bread I really put into myself, boy. Because, bro, when I first, I, well, I still got on my YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, from when I first started rapping. When I first started rapping, bro, I was screaming, hollering, bro. And at the mic, in the mic, and the mic was right here. And I was at Bruce Vane's studio. Shout out, Bruce. I was screaming, hollering. That's why I lift it up. Cause I wanted to show my fans how better I got just by keep going. I lift this shit up. Some of my fans think that's the hardest shit I put out, but I hate this shit. Yeah. I don't hate it like, I don't hate it like, oh, I hate it like, but I just, how better I got now. How better I got now. Like, bro, this shit, bro, look how loud I was hollering and screaming on this shit. Like, this shit crazy and this shit funny. But I lift it up. I can always take it down, but I want to show people, like, that you really got built, you really stayed down. You know what I'm saying? And I'll never forget my first video I did was, uh, yo, guy that dropped it, uh, down in the trap. I mean, down in the DM. Yeah. And I remixed that bitch down in the trap. Uh, Old Shot I mean, not Old Shot You, Deezy. Deezy, shout out Deezy, bro. Deezy a real nigga, bro, for sure. But yeah, man, that's a good ass question, bro. I don't. I don't even want to throw a number out there. I can't even throw a number out there, bro. Nigga done put so much money into itself, bro. Nigga done fell out fucking with this shit. Ran it back up, fell out fucking with this shit. Run it back up, fell out. But that was some, boy, that was some money, bro. I done put some money into myself. I ain't gonna lie about you asking that. That shit made me feel good, bro. Cause I really been putting bags on me, bro. This shit ain't cheap, bro. Yeah, nah. And a lot of niggas from when I first started, them niggas stop. Yeah. They stop, bro. They stop. So when you see shit like that, like, you know, that you still going and somebody that may have been, you know what I'm saying, pursuing it at one time, they start to do it, kind of motivate you in a sense of like, yeah, this, you, like, I'm built nah, for this. Nah, time. when I be seeing them niggas, when I be seeing them niggas, I be, uh, when I see them, and probably like, bro, keep going. But see me, I love rapping, like from school, I ain't want to be a basketball player, I ain't want to, I wanted to be, I went to Forest Brook, I wanted to play baseball, and coach, it was a coach up there named Coach Smith, and nigga told me I was too short, I got tall after I got out of school, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so after that, I was out doing talent shows, I always, my daddy bought me a mic with Dito on it when I was young, I was, I used to up in school, uh, but, Man, bro, it's like, I wasn't worried about the money. The music made me happy, bro. This shit made me happy, bro. This shit made me feel like a little kid. You know, like on the Switches and Swamp, we shot that bitch at a skateboard park. I really was into skateboards, you know what I'm saying, as a kid. And and I thought I was gonna be a BMX rider, you know what I'm saying? Do yeah. tricks on BMX, it's just, like, nigga, this shit really made me, you know what I'm saying, happy. Sure, sure. No, this shit, bro, rapping and performing, this shit made me happy, bro. I love going in the studio, outdoing myself, trying to like, damn, I came up with this, you know what I'm saying? Just putting a song together, bro, I just love it. And I wasn't looking forward for the money, so it wasn't no, I'm gonna stop. It wasn't none of it. It's, it's nothing can make me stop unless God called me home. There's nothing can make me stop rapping. Yeah. Unless God say it's time to come on home, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna never stop rapping, brother. 
So talk about that, that, uh, that Switches and Swans video. That one was crazy. Like you said, you know, y'all the skate park. Y'all got the real live alligators yeah, in that video. Yeah, yeah, that shit was live, bro. I had fun. Know what I'm saying? Some nigga was trying to bring all the sticks out. Bring them. Hell nah. We ain't doing none of that, bro. Them people on our weed. Know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to have no guns in my video no more. I ain't trying to have no drugs in my video no more. There's other ways to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I got a lot of little kids falling, looking up to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do all this shit, bro. I ain't trying to do this shit. Even though I can, it's easy to do this shit, but I ain't, I ain't on it. You feel like like a lot of the niggas that's up are misleading the youth? Mm, I don't know, because I ain't more watching them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't more watching them niggas. I don't know, bro. I don't know what them niggas doing. All I know is live for dead, bro. You know what I'm saying? Live for dead entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And we coming. I ain't doing no stopping. As long as I got breath in my body, I'm going to keep shooting my shot until I hit the three-pointer, bro. That's how I'm coming. Sure. Who's some other, uh, you know, talent that you might, we could expect to come out, you know, around you or under you? Man, I'm trying to... <clears throat> On that extreme is LFD Josh. He hard, he coming, know what I'm saying? I just gotta, like, by me being big bro, I'm trying to, like, show him, like, bitch, so we can get rich off this shit. But you gotta want it. You gotta want it. I can't make him want it. So that's why I'm gonna do a song with him, do the video with him, and hopefully it motivate him and want to, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I be doing. I ain't tripping on doing no song with no nigga that look up to me, you know what I'm saying? 